Uh, maybe you can tell them about your general impression about the security work here at Sahlgrenska, as you told Matsuda. Yeah, yeah, I think they will find it interesting. <laughs> so I think that, and certainly security at Kings, we have a my worst day of the week is a Tuesday or a Thursday and maybe a Sunday. Now and again it might be a Friday or a Saturday. So I can't target my resources for when I have a problem. We don't have a, a nighttime economy in Camberwell. And those that might know Camberwell, you know why people don't go there for a night out. Okay, so ours is so random, time of the day, day of the week, it doesn't make any no trends. And I think the nice thing here is that security is I think a lot of people that I've seen have, have been very, I'll talk about security managers that I've seen them and learned things from them, half an island and things, you know. But I think you're very lucky to have such a, 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 a team that I've met, uh, very forward thinking, uh, enthusiastic about change and very knowledgeable. And I think that's sort of, that's sort of the three key attributes. I think your sort of your buildings security, I think, is very good. And I, I visit an awful lot of hospitals across England, uh, and I would say that you're you're up there, absolutely. Uh, the, the, the standard of, of sort of security guards, I don't know, apart from the psychiatric unit I went to, which is better than some of the holiday complexes I've been to. I just think <laughs> that's pretty. It's like a. Do you, have, do you get Big Brother sort of thing over here? Yes. Yeah. It's like a Big Big Brother. It's <laughs> just really nice. And I thought it was really funny when they were saying they're going to get ten people outside at one time, and they've got a huge football pitch, and so it's too big for five aside. So I think it's the standards. There's an awful lot of thought gone into certainly that establishment. And I think you have very similar to us in terms of like old buildings, new buildings, and, and certainly the way it's, you know, and people sing your praises, I have to tell you, okay? And people say there has been a noticeable change in the last year, you know, and that's come from people that I've met in emergency departments or from the security team and things like that. But there's also an awful lot of the, the people that are the security management team are also doing incredibly well. And it's not just a case of, we're being told, we're being told. There's some really, really good ideas coming out there as well. So I think that physical security, I think you're up there. I'd, I'd like to make a few improvements, but it costs money. And you have some really you know, strict guidelines as to what you can do. I don't have that problem. I don't have the money, but we can actually do what we want to do. I think technology-wise, I think it's fantastic. You, You've got the basis, and certainly from what I saw this morning in terms of the integration and the systems that you can have, you know, I think you know certainly give you a year, two, three, five years. You know, I think you're going to be sort of the standard that people like me, who think I'm wonderful and my trust is great, we're going to kind of be coming to visit and say, that's really good. And you will be sort of the standard that we would be looking at. You know, and, and I. I have people from over the country in England come to me, to my, I guess, me, sort of my hospital, and say, oh, this is really good and we'd like to do and what do you do and how do you do and all that sort of thing. You know, and I think it's, it's credit to all of you, you know, that I'm, I'm looking to use guys as say, wow, you know, that's really good. And I'm very cagey about who I want to work with because sometimes I feel it's all me giving, you know, and I would like to continue the relationship because I think there's an awful lot of things that we we can do together. We have, I could fill this room with guidance and documents and all sorts of stuff, you know. Some of it I think you'd find useful, you know, we don't have to use it word for word, but there's an awful lot there already, you know, and bit information technology or physical security. There's lots and lots of, I think England is ahead of an awful lot of countries because it's had lots of checklists for a long time but these guys have an awful lot of checklists too I see so that sort of the information sharing I think is fantastic and practices as well you know I'm, I'm particularly interested in the training you know we have god four hours of this is what we do and da 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 you know something I learned the other day well we can just you know do it <laughs> something like this okay I was practicing last night getting home at half twelve after a couple of beers 
not so good not in the reception anyway so but the little things like that and I think that's you know we, we have our own ideas you know and I think sometimes we become a bit cocooned uh, but yeah I think this sort of thing I think I think it's good you know, and I I'd like to to learn more you know, I'd, I'd like to do some things that you're doing. I know some of it's not going to be practical. I think the ID card thing is wonderful. You know, uh, I know I can't do that because we don't have those sort of laws and, and sort of powers. Uh, but we can feed off some of it. You know, we have a good system, and people come to us and say, "God, your system's wonderful." I've just, I've just seen a better system. I think. You know, the CCTV. I think mine's pretty cool. <laughs> I get a bit tweaking now. I think it'll still be very, very cool. Uh, but it's got me a bit worried. But it's two years old. That's two years technology. It's moved on. So I think I think you're going really, really good places. I really do. I think the team, you know, those that I've met, you know, those that can't be here. Uh, yeah, I think, and they're all young. You know, they're going to be here for a while, long after us, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So, but if there's anything you want to chat, discuss, or whatever, then absolutely. But yeah, like my, I think my proof is that you know, if I was working here. Apart from I can't speak Swedish, I'd be happy working here. I'd feel safe and secure, and I know there's a vision, and I know you're going somewhere. You know, just staying where you are happy, and I think that's that's how I would judge how good an organisation is. Right, thank you. Ian.